but let us continue with the run. Hopefully my noise gating is enough that you can't hear for Gabby. Did you know okay. She's adorable. She's so cute. She has the most pathetic little muse. And she rolls around on the floor back and forth, showing her fuzzy little tummy. And she thinks that it's expressing anger, but all that makes me want to do is go off <laughs> and fawn over her. Which is not the- I guess it is the intended reaction. That's probably why she thinks it works. <laughs> Love my cat. Let's take this and teleport to the other side. And here. That's all. Ooh. Uh, maybe we run both. Nido Queen and Nido King? I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't- I actually missed Nido Queen here the first time. I'll call everyone. Oh. And then I think we can probably just walk up and take it. Uh, we had a glancing blow, actually. Well, we need to do probably this. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That's kind of interesting. Uh... Yeah, so, what's cool about those is that they're really good mixed attackers. These attackers are kind of hard to come by in this game. We're running both. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Might change your mind on that. Oh, I should have definitely um could have avoided attack. That's fine. We're gonna hit a focus center anyway. Let's take, um, <clears throat> we want Pidgey with us for Viridian Forest at least. We want to start leveling Pikachu, so let's drop the Psyduck. Psyduck helped. Go over here. Um, we can probably put some TMs on. Over here. Oh. I'll check the piece. Game situation is. Well, nope, that's not impressive. It'll probably be better in the next town, once we make it to Peter. There are some pretty good TMs. But, uh, nothing for the Nidos yet. This time, we're going to completely ignore the Beedrill. We've already got our own Beedrill. We're just going to go to the right instead of taking off the containers. Get pushed up through the radiant forest. It's about that. Uh, probably just move this. Yep. <clears throat> our Charmander is pretty strong at this point. Not too stressed. Really anything that might come up. Uh, let's hit this also. Before we get anything going, we're gonna just throw out any hazards. Hard. Uh, 
Try to distribute this experience. This is a fairly easy fight. It would be best if we could get this experience on key targets. Seems like we're going to be able to. Let's see what kind of damage. Oh. We're going to use that ember on powder key then. Bring this down to one hit point. Around here, can get a kill. Nice. Quite a level up, that makes sense. And then I think we should be able to dust this. We need to do a little bit more before our Nido King in the making. Oh. That's cool. Not quite there on that. Let's see. We have Pikachu do a tail. Go! Knock out for Nidoran. A little bit of defense, that's good. I like that. I'm curious about their growths. So if I just want to make sure they're on the same tier. Time. One of these is objectively worse than the other. Three twenty. Okay. So it's not necessarily indicative of their final stats either. Also, okay. So they have the same base growth total, but it's distributed slightly differently. So it looks like 10 points out of... 5 points out of strength. RIP PATRIARCHY! Oh no. Just a worse Nido M. It is. I see. Hmm. I mean, I think... Something that could probably be good, it would be to make, like, one of them more strength-focused and one of them more melee-focused, or magic-focused, that could give them some differentiation, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess let me look at these stats some more. Uh, I see the queen is a bit bulkier, too. So weaker offenses, stronger defenses. I see. Yeah, we're kind of in a hyper offense player phase mode for the entire game, I think. So Needle Queen, yeah, I think I could see why on Lunatic kind of is eh. Though I'm sure on lower difficulties, I could see this this mon being particularly good. Uh, it has a nice balance of like stats that I could see if this scales up it'd be good, but. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe Nido F becomes Magic Nido. Be an option. Like bulky Magic Nido. There aren't really a lot of bulky Magic moms. Or bulky Magic, like, users in Fire Emblem in general. I can only think of a handful. Open to that. A Pidgey, a mage. Yeah, that actually, I saw that Pidgey was a mage, and that was what made me so interested um, in running a Pidgey. <laughs> Is that I was like, oh, Magic Bird, cool. I hadn't thought of that. But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty interested in running a Pidgey. We'll see if something, like, outclasses it, but I've heard that uh, the final evolution is very good. Yeah, um... Because that is that is just a thing, is in general, with the games, the way that the games are, Nido F just is worse. Like, if you don't change anything. So this is, like, totally in line with the way that the game is designed. <laughs> but that's because the game is totally designed around offense. 
um, in general. Book one is just a very offense-focused game. Uh, even at the higher levels. Like, you get stall teams sometimes, but... Yeah, it's much more of an offense-focused thing. I think that, that can be hard to avoid. Otherwise, Spearow would immediately outclass Pidgey. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and honestly, Spearow is kind of... Spearow's kind of interesting. I was using Spearow a little bit. Um, I feel like Thero probably is much better than Spearow, but I did not get to that point. Thero was just a little bit below where I would want it to be, which is why I think probably Thero is good. Experience for the experience, but... Hooray! That's... Yay, stats! Like that. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have, um... Rodrio is slightly better than Firo, but can't fly. Hmm. Flying is really good. Does it have the same, like, number of movement tiles? Kind of like, like a mounted unit? Because that would- I can see why that would be still pretty good. It seems like a Dodrio would be able to move pretty far. Let's go to the next area here. <laughs> Which side we want to come up on? Which is neat. Um, I think this guy is a trainer. But he doesn't aggro to us and he doesn't have a range, which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> Gave a few things eight move. Oh wait, no, this guy lets us rent his Geodude. Um, which becomes a green unit and helps us fight. It's actually pretty rad, um, and would probably be very helpful. So let's rent this Geodude. Uh, to get the Geodude to move forward, we have to use the end turn command here. Uh, it's worth noting. Ruffy is pretty swag. Puts on the damages. Something we can try to do we could try to let Rocky punch his way through things, um, but I like I think that working with Rocky is probably the way. Um, so what we can do is trigger this fight. Like so. <clears throat> the guy makes enemies attack t twice. His you do attacks trainers once immediately. Oh. Interesting. <clears throat> or maybe you fixed that. Well, I suppose we may find out. Not intended. Gotcha. That makes sense. So we need to be the one to trigger fights, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, but that is actually... I was gonna say I was planning on doing that. So. A little bit of XP there. Mm. <clears throat> we need damage, so we need to put in a pretty big chunk of Ember. A little too big of a chunk, actually. What we can do, though, is AoE Ember, which will do less damage. You can see that it leaves with a little bit of health there. Get a prediction, that's really cool. All level there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ring shot that. And run up with. I thought I could run up with Pikachu, but I cannot. Will we gust, maybe? Can't quite get it. Whoa, that's a. Is that a four? Alright, I guess we're waiting. 
That's fine. We got some more experience for Nita Run. Nothing went right for you. Perfectly fine for me. Personally, you love Rocky. <clears throat> a lot of people think he's a scam. Well, Rocky is probably unnecessary. But also, I mean, at the point where I was in my uh, individual playthrough, at least with the mods I was using, I was not hurting for cash at all. And you can always go rematch stuff, too. So 800 is practically nothing. <laughs> so what if it's a scam? I have thousands of extra dollars. I mean, uh, the one thing I would say is the Magikarp. Don't buy the Magikarp. Don't buy the Magikarp. The Magikarp is so worthless. Level 5. Oh, it's so bad. Um, and I, I'm quite confident that that is deliberate, but it's terrible. I actually caught a level 16 Magikarp at, from one of the bosses. There's a boss Gyarados you can fight. And even that was hard to raise. It was, it was tough. I'm, I'm, I don't think I would do that. Magikarp is an amazing pitfall. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I can't imagine being a first-time player trying to raise that Magikarp from level 5. It's like it gets half experience or something. I don't understand how it could possibly just level so slowly, even with Paragon. So many people trade the pitfall. Oh no. It's so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. You're out of 10. Would not recommend. Would, uh, even the level 16 Magikarp. Just, that's wild. It did not feel like it. It must, it's just because it's so weak. But even the level 16 Magikarp is tough. Um, dealing half damage, it is really bad. Yeah, that's true. Three Caterpie. That's not very scary. But we're a little bit of ahead of Rocky, actually. We probably could have waited on him. That's fine. We're pretty strong. Can uh, AoE gust this. So here we can see Pidgey um, do huge damage with this gust. Or bite. Or wave. Attack. Neat. I think we can. Oh, bug bite is one of those interesting melees where we can do a one by three. So, a couple knockouts there. Although I guess that was <laughs> kind of a waste of XP. Level 19 Magikarp. Ah, yes. That's probably much better. That sounds way more like what I would recommend. Um, the level 16 Magikarp, I mean, if you've got time, you know, on your hands, and you just want to hang out training a Magikarp, like, it's, it's, you can drag it through a few fights, and, you know, it's not too bad with the level 16 Magikarp. But you really have to, really have to try to get that thing experience. Um, and, on Lunatic, I just don't know. I don't know how on Lunatic that would be a thing. On, on Difficult, it was hard to find anything that I could bring down to one hit point or two hit points for it to knock out. Eventually, was able to find like an appropriate <laughs> difficulty level where I could safely re reduce things to one. But, um, and that which was post Cerulean. For reference, is, is actually close to where I caught the Magikarp. Was at level 16 was pretty ideal for training it because I could consistently reduce the enemy mons to low HP um, without knocking them out in one hit. Um, meant to make you regret buying it. I that makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't buy it because I was I know from experience that Magikarp is very common, and I'm like surely there are other Magikarp. Right? But, um, yeah. And honestly, in the mainline games, buying the Magikarp is a good thing. Like, you get a Gyarados super early, and you can train it, you can start training it really early on with Switch training. I mean, that's, that's pretty rad. Like, that's worth the money. But, yeah, not in this game. Yeah, 
That would definitely make me groan. If I had trained that thing up and then just walked up and saw level 16. Big oof. I mean, you learn something. You learn something about the game, you know, at that moment. Need luck resistance? Okay. Not bad. Pidgey getting some good level ups, actually. And this Nidoran male is getting some really good level ups, too. a little bit of money on the ground over there. I think I can hit it with enough. You can burn down trees with fire. That makes sense. Bug attacks are also super effective against them. Which I guess makes sense. Because all nature entities are grass type. of magic. It's very good. I don't think we actually have any magic attacks yet. I'm gonna get some. Shot. Pick up this Pokeball, that's nifty. I'm not actually scared of these. This call to here. A very aggressive call. That way we can knock out this back. I mean, I'm not that afraid of them. I am kind of afraid of them when they're you know. Knock out all the mugs. And <laughs> yes, this trainer is gonna do what the trainer is gonna do. So. I guess. Odd spot for that Weedle to spawn. Hmm. Oh. 
Thus doesn't actually knock it out. And then we go to nine. That's convenient. And we'll we'll do this with the Caterpie because it's okay to take a counterattack from the Caterpie. We'd much rather have our speed decreased than get poisoned. Bulba is pretty good. Odd just performed pretty similarly. So Charmander is better start. Yeah, I, that was kind of my thought too. Is water types seem kind of available and fire types don't. Um, and there's grass types are everywhere too. And the grass types and the water types generally seem pretty good. Um, but Volpix being the first fire types are into the game. Fast is our Pikachu. So we couldn't quite double, even with Spring Shot. Let's just do some damage. Oh, nice. We can take it down to one. Give that to our Pikachu. I didn't notice the accuracy, but I, I guess it doesn't matter because, um, glancing blows. <laughs> oh. Oh, I forgot that Pokeball. I'm gonna call to this heal spot. What? And go grab that Pokeball. Shield nifty. That's gonna be handy. That's it. Let's see now. <coughs> this. There's a little bit of some resistance, right? Yeah. I'm we'll getting countered often. I don't know who that. Would be. I guess we Charmander. This Charmander uses guard. The defensive item is like gonna be best on. Forge this. Forge that yet? Another trainer over here. And... Oh, this is. It's not really. I don't. I have. I don't really have a strategy for positioning for trainers. Oh, didn't think about the caterpillars. Oh, good thing they're empty. Eek! I don't want any trouble. Oh, give me your money. Basically. enough damage, <clears throat> and more importantly, lowers the defense. Glancing blow there. Not sure what the hit chance was, but that was pretty high. Thanks for the money, sucker. Oh, 
Ah, that makes sense. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, AoE Leer is very good. Same with AoE Tail Whip. Put our Nidoran. Our Pidgey Sluffy. Check on our, on our levels real quick. Well, I guess, looking at the gross and the stats of this, I kind of don't want to run it. Though it is nifty. We might level it up later in the run. Interesting. A dragon attack. So that's going to hit basically everything neutrally. I think there is... Yeah, there's a dragon in the Misty fight. Spoilers, I guess. You fight Misty. Let's have unnamed dragon. I'll let, um... A rock catch up with us. <laughs> this rock has actually kind of been a waste of money. You've made this game before. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm more worried about my uh, non-existent audience than, you know, the ones, all the people who, who don't come through and click on the video afterwards. I gotta make sure that they know to sort of prepare for spoilers incoming. <laughs> well, I guess actually, well, there's a, an army 11 strong <clears throat> that may or may not click on this and see, which would be cool. I hope that they all play this game because um, it is fun. Very cool game. This game before. Oh. I like that kind of humor. That's funny. Hmm. I think if we break this tree down, go ahead and start this fight. Relatively advantageous spot. Try to use a choke point to our advantage. And never mind. Guess we don't get that choke point to our advantage. That should point to our um, hmm. Seconds is kind of... Soften it up without taking any damage and then dust it. We might even be able to. Oh well, we definitely don't want to AoE. Just... That works. And I don't actually know if we can one shot the cat. And now. We're gonna two shot the cat. I don't think that uh, the remaining enemies will be much at pretty much through the forest. And yes, I can confirm uh, Rocky was a scam. Rocky was unnecessary. 
Although perhaps that's just because I'm, you know, we're here, here on the channel. We are built different. Could just be, could just be the difference. Rocky gave you good luck. Yes. Yeah. He gave me a hidden bonus to all of my stats. Zero dust for us. Nice. Thanks. I'm trying to decide between tail whip and growl. I think tail whip is probably more important. With more access to it. Much with growl. We definitely need at least one thing with guard. Yeah, let's let's uh let's keep growl since we have tail whip elsewhere. Knock that out. That's the last of them. Yep. Very cool. So we can catch a sand true here, and sand true is pretty good. I was running sand true in my previous game. You can see it, the stats that it has here. It's sort of like a ground type armor knight, which is like kind of what you expect out of a sand true. I don't know how it's going to be in lunatic, where everything is doing so much more damage. I'm not sure. It does hit hard. Um, it hit pretty hard. Maybe I was just lucky. But, um, I, I had good luck with my strength gross, and this plus, this 8 base is, uh, nothing to sneeze at either. So, could be good, um, not sure how much we'll need it. The ground type attacks, though, for Barak are pretty helpful. We may want that. We might just want that. Uh, actually are pretty scary. We're not really out of the woods yet, so to speak. At least we can knock that out. I think our Pikachu is probably... Oh, Pikachu is safe. Okay, we're good then. We can just not quite make it to the end of the map. They can't- they will not aggro onto us. There's that cadaver. We are eventually going to completely hurl ourselves at Cadabra. Probably a couple times unsuccessfully, and then give up and come back later to try to get an Abra. But eventually we will get an Abra. We cannot even try to do so yet. So we have a few extra uh, mons here. This is what we're working with so far. Leech life is actually good. I don't think Beedrill learns leech life. But Bug Bite, I think, is better, isn't it? Is this, is this Gen 8 leech life? Ah, uh, no, no, this is, this is the old leech life. Yeah. Maybe I'll put that on something else, I guess. Let's drop that into the supply for now. Leather shield on. Good. Tend to be as interesting. I think if we ever get a really solid defensive Pokemon, we're probably going to put Tantivy on that, but I don't really have much use for it yet. Hmm. 
debuff defense for Ez is the most useful. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, sort of turning your mons into ninjas. You no, know, something I didn't check out last time. I think you can go in here. Metamorphosis. That's pretty funny. Yes, our Pokemon must metamorphose. Oh, sweet. What are you strategy guys anyway? Uh, so I guess we eventually get Aerodactyl. That's cool. Aerodactyl is pretty rad. Um, I'll trade my Haunter if you bring me a Mewtwo. Uh, I'm just joking with you. I don't even have a fun. Alright. A heavy shield. Hey, that's pretty cool. That is another item for Charmander. No. Let's check the TM stat. little extra defensive bump. Let's see what they got at the mark. So, we could dump most of our money on some muscle bands and wise glasses. Those are pretty good. Also got mud shot, which is, I think, what we want on Charmander. This seems like our best option for Brock. We could definitely want to pick up mud shot. I think that we're wanting Charmander to be a supportive Pokemon. I guess access is pretty good. Sand Attack can't really stack. Uh, and misses don't really matter. As much, although I guess the question is does a debuff of 8 strength and 8 magic, or 4 strength magic, matter more than causing glancing blows. And right now, I don't think that the damage numbers are high enough that having damage that we take is going to be more impactful than a growl. I think a growl is going to take a damage down to just one. Seriously, one sand attack, growl, and tail whip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thought, right? So, I'm kind of thinking, like, yeah, maybe both. That's a good point, is I could decrease, I could stack the debuffs um, in desperate situation, but I don't really think, really know how much that is Charmander's role. You know, I, let's get rid of Scratch, because Scratch is kind of weak anyway. Mudshot, just at a basic level, hits a lot of things neutrally that, that Ember won't and is the same power, a little bit less accurate. So I think we drop Scratch, actually. We hold on to Growl for now. But yeah, the AoE ability of the debuffs is really what makes them so desirable. The fact that you can't take counterattacks. So it's a way to get experience and a way to do a little bit of chip damage without count getting counterattacks. That is crucial part of this type of, of uh, strategy thing, being able to do that. Um, oh, that reminds me. I wanted to drop the queen. You think sand attack is not great? Yeah, I don't know. It's, I think it is, um, minus 15 is pretty good. I think minus 8 is not quite enough for it to be very interesting as an AoE ability, but it's kind of appealing for the single target, although I guess now that I think about it, how many things are even going to have 15 skill? You know, I have... 
8 skill, 8 skill on my most skilled things. So, I guess it's not really going to be at its potential for a while either. But eventually it will, it, it could really hit the hit rates. But yeah, I mean, it is probably not what we want unless we're trying to enable something else. Yeah, it's more active is better, I think. Well, we'll see if we can find a use for it. We might just... Oh wait, did I... I don't think I took the queen out. Two? Hmm. Maybe we bring Psyduck back. Or the gym battle. That's water. Water type good. And then let's see what other kind of TM situation we get here. We've got something for Brock on farming now. No such thing. I guess we have Twister for neutral damage. Could get Mud Shot here as well. Probably be good actually. Look at that. Special damage. Interesting coverage. We had the move slot anyway. Oh, Pikachu. Pikachu is probably going to be hard to fit into this fight. We can also learn Mud Shot and Leaf Flurry. I think we probably want to pick up Leaf Flurry though. The type diversity. Yeah, Leaf Flurry is super effective against ground, which is going to hit Diglett. That does use up almost all of our money here. That's okay. We can always rematch stuff. what we're going to do with this one. So, I'm not sure how useful Beedrill is going to be. I guess there is a Vulpix. So we probably... Lots of options. Yeah, that's good. Um, I think a lot of ROM hacks are kind of plagued by it being way too hard to get past Brock. The first boss, I think, should be hard. We want it to feel like a boss. But it's so early in the game that there just aren't, like, strategies. It's, it's good. I think I can tell that you put thought into addressing that. We've got a save then. Let's give this a shot. Peter J. Yeah, this team works. Um, I'm not. I'm, I don't have high confidence. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> hmm. What about my Diglett, Sandrew, and Volpix? Those don't count. <laughs> Volpix is bad. There, there, sweetie. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Let's battle. Hey. Hmm. Um. So how do we approach this? Well, this is... Ooh. Ooh, um. Let's just save this. So for us... Really the problem are these rock types. We need a place to not be in range with them. In fact, I think we need to take down the Vulpix first. Let's see. Uh, so, Onyx has a pretty huge range. 
the others less so. Uh, let's try to bring Vulpix in with the guard over here. And... That is out of range of... Out of range of the Diglett. Let's try to bring everybody else back. We don't want to take any damage on Pepe, ideally. I think this is going to be best. Bring the Vulpix in. Not take that much damage. Oh, I, I should have equipped Mudshot for sure. Um, now from here, I think we need to be doing super effective. So I need to send a mud shot at Geodude. And hopefully that sets up a kill. Um, we probably don't need super effective damage for... Uh, hmm, we do need more damage than that. But perhaps this is where Beedrill comes in. Mm, Beedro might be more useful elsewhere. Beedro can one shot at uh yeah, let's have Beedro one shot the Wait, and then probably die to Onyx. Um enough damage over here. Not even close for now. I think we need to have Psyduck use Bubble on this. Not really a better place for just Standy. But we can take the Dio dude out of fight. And from here... Um, Onyx is kind of threatening, but only, it's unfortunate, I think it's probably going to target the Psyduck. Hopefully it doesn't, and our Psyduck can take down this Sandshrew. Very helpful too. But basically anything that tries to take down this Wolfix is also subject to getting knocked out by the Onyx. It's less good. Maybe I try to dive and just buff the army. Let's uh let's do this. Very good level up. So that moved to the top anyway. It's this. And then we should be able to keep the to save. And that damage, I think, with the mud shot, very helpful. Yeah, right here. Okay, this is good. This is good. We needed the Psyduck, I think, to take down... These are still kind of dicey. How much damage we can do? Not very much at all. Bring its speed down to six. We might not have this. Not sure. Wait a minute. 
can double this, right? Okay. Uh, that's good. We're able to double... The problem is we can't quite reduce the speed of, um, by 8. We can't quite reduce the speed of the onyx down that far. Instead, I think we're just going to have to try to debuff it. As much as we can, we can keep it from doubling us by string shotting it anyway. Go with it. Yeah. Its defense is already lowered. Let's hit it with a bubble. And I think we probably lose either Pikachu or Psyduck here. Oh, it runs away and heals. Very interesting. It's not what I expected. Hmm. A little bit of a problem. I'm some healing item. Belly donut. Now we kind of have to take an attack. I don't think Nidoran is doing much for us. Let's do this. Let's bake it in. And we'll just try to hit it with super effective. It's gonna run away. That's actually great for us. I love that. Um, I was really worried we would have to dig through that health bar again. We'll just reposition over here. That's great. I did one hit point with the option come in. Oh, it didn't attack us. It does not want to de-equip two that place. Right. Um not really sure why it didn't attack there. But uh stat. Stats are in good shape again. So we need to debuff it more. Give it a shot. Got it. Probably want to give this to Pikachu. And that is Brock. Yes. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder bag. Very proud, knowing you've completed my gym. The others won't be quite so easy. Got Rock too. Thousand gold? Wait, take this. Give me a drying pan. This trusty pan will negate any weakness to water me. I am sad to part with it, but I know you'll take good care of it. Good luck, my favorite. Good luck indeed. We win. Okay. Let's heal. I guess the drying pen might eventually be good, but we don't actually have a weakness to water on need of need of uh, ran yet. Let's move that drying pen over to a Charmander, who does actually have a water weakness at this time. And let's see, rocked. this works for now. We'll run with this for now. We'll probably find some replacement mons for some of these. The only ones that I'm really wanting